someone is lying about OpenAI. News broke that shocked the AI community. OpenAI, one of the most influential organizations working to develop safe artificial general intelligence, fired its co-founder and CEO, Sam Altman. The board claimed it was due to Altman being not completely candid in his communications, but Altman maintains he did nothing wrong. So who is telling the truth? Either Sam Altman betrayed crucial details and misled the board, or the board is using vague accusations as a cover story for their real motives. Someone high up at OpenAI is not being fully honest. So let's delve into the real reason for OpenAI's dramatic betrayal. To fully comprehend the intricacies of this complicated tale, we need to return to the beginning. OpenAI was established in 2015 with an audacious and ambitious aim to create beneficial artificial general intelligence in a way that optimizes its positive impact on humanity. Leading the charge were technology luminaries. Sam Altman and Elon Musk, Altman, as the president of Y Combinator, had played a crucial role in launching some of today's most significant tech success stories. Musk, on the other hand, is a visionary who has repeatedly transformed significant industries ahead of his time. Together with other safety researchers on AI, they founded OpenAI as a nonprofit organization to pursue this mission without compromising on safety. In 2018, OpenAI made headlines with GPT-1, one of the first transformer models. Although it was not intended for public use, it showcased their leadership in developing cutting-edge techniques. Progress continued at a breakneck pace under Altman's leadership. However, some scientists grew concerned that this speed might overlook crucial safeguards. While Altman emphasized partnerships to speed up the dissemination process, others advocated for a thorough review before each new release. Little did they know that this would be the point of contention at OpenAI. As OpenAI's capabilities expanded, differences in philosophy became more apparent regarding the direction the organization should take. While Altman continued to prioritize partnerships as an essential way to sustain their monumental efforts, others were concerned that industry ties could steer objectives away from the founding goal of benefiting humanity broadly. A significant turning point occurred in 2019 when OpenAI accepted a $1 billion investment from Microsoft to establish a new capped profit entity. Although Altman stressed that this model maintained their nonprofit ideals, critics argued that the needs of private investors would now inevitably influence strategic decisions. To clarify, a capped profit model refers to a legal structure where the financial returns on investments in a company are limited or capped. In OpenAI's case, the terms of the agreement with Microsoft meant that investors' profits would be capped at 100 times their original investment. This meant that Microsoft's maximum financial return, regardless of how successful OpenAI became, was set at $100 billion. Any additional profits or increase in the valuation of the company beyond that capped amount would not result in further payouts to Microsoft or other investors. Although many critics still argued that prioritizing the need to please investors with significant financial stakes could shift the company's priorities over time, Microsoft proved them right in 2023 when they invested an additional $10 billion, acquiring a 49% stake in the company. The profits that this investment could potentially bring even at 100x are immeasurable. $1 trillion maybe? Let me know in the comments what figure it could amount to. Clearly at this point, two opposing views existed at OpenAI. Sam Altman wanted to capitalize on the momentum generated by moving products to market rapidly, while Sootscover wanted to limit access until the product was verified and aligned with safety. As one researcher privately remarked, once you take that kind of money, it's no longer about the research, it's about answering to your new investors. In a very short time, OpenAI's pace increased significantly due to the infusion of funds from investors. Soon after, ChatGPT became a major sensation. Appearing on screens, blogs, and TV news everywhere, it's safe to say that no one expected it to be so groundbreaking. Arguably, ChatGPT is the most transformative technology we've seen since smartphones. Of course, there are other notable technologies out there, such as self-driving cars, but when it comes to wide-range impact, ChatGPT is the only one to have achieved that in a very long time. Altman's decision to make ChatGPT accessible to the public and to offer it for free, at least initially, was a crucial factor in the success of the launch of ChatGPT, which engaged in over 1 billion conversations and brought AI closer to reality. Thanks to Altman's efforts, OpenAI has achieved significant successes that continue to shape technology today. These achievements have earned OpenAI a reputation as one of Silicon Valley's hottest startups, and it seemed that they could do no wrong until Altman was abruptly terminated by the board with minimal explanation. Given his track record of delivering on OpenAI's purpose, what could have led to this shocking betrayal? We still don't know what led to Sam's firing, but the company stated that he wasn't consistently candid with his communications. 
The theory that makes the most sense to me is that, as a for-profit startup with 100 million monthly users and a rapidly growing business, OpenAI wanted to move fast and break things. That's exactly what Sam was doing, and it was fine with the entrepreneurial and investor communities. However, this wasn't aligned with OpenAI's goals. Elon Musk supported the decision, stating that AI was moving too fast and needed to be stopped. With Sam back, we know that the board of directors was made up of six people prior to his firing. Greg was offered to stay with the board, but he quit in solidarity with Sam, so he definitely didn't vote to remove him. OpenAI's bylaws establish that a majority and written consent are needed for any decision the board makes. The only way this adds up is if the entire board met without Sam or Greg and agreed on this decision. All four members must have voted in favor of the motion, and it seems that Ilya Sutskever orchestrated the vote. In a normal company, shareholders can vote to replace board members if they think they're being dumb. However, in OpenAI, there are no shareholders, as it is a nonprofit. The bylaws, which effectively work like a constitution or rulebook for a business, state that the board has the ultimate power and there is nothing that anyone can do about it, until a mass exodus of employees threatened to follow Altman. Notably, over 500 of the company's 700 employees had written to the board threatening to leave if Altman was not reinstated. I don't blame them for doing this, but let's call this what it is, a business decision. Firing Sam from OpenAI the way he was fired was idiotic and terribly handled. There was blurry messaging and communication, no heads up to the investors who have poured billions into OpenAI, and it was done on a Friday right before Thanksgiving week. Even Jesus wouldn't have supported that coup. Another reason for this decision is that many of these employees have stock options in the company and were looking forward to a secondary stock sale that would be valuing the company at $90 billion. This sale would have netted them millions of dollars from their stock options. How did you expect people to react if this possibility disappeared overnight? How did you expect them to react if you fired the CEO of probably the most important tech startup of the decade? I definitely wouldn't have reacted differently. The recent news had a negative impact on investors such as Microsoft, whose shares decreased by 2%. Although it may seem like a small amount, Microsoft's overall value is nearly $3 trillion. As a result of this minor drop, their market value plummeted by $56 billion in just a second. Upon hearing the news, Satya, the CEO of Microsoft, was reportedly furious. In a bid to do some damage control, they announced that they would hire Sam, Greg, and pretty much anyone else who resigned from the company. This was a very smart move to keep their investors and shareholders chill, and it worked. The stock went right back up in no time. Sam and pretty much everyone at OpenAI have expressed concerns that AI could be dangerous, but the company still continues to move quickly. The board might not be comfortable with the speed of progress, but it's undeniable that money talks, and employees and investors alike are hoping for a huge payday from OpenAI. It is important to remember that this is a for-profit business, and Sam and Greg returning to the board will lean towards that. Elon Musk has been watching the situation closely and has been vocal about his opinions. This began when OpenAI co-founder Ilya Sutskever, who served on the board that fired Altman, expressed regret for his role in the events. In response, Musk questioned Sutskever directly on his platform X, asking, Why did you take such a drastic action? If OpenAI is doing something potentially dangerous to humanity, the world needs to know. Notably, Musk had been one of the co-founders of OpenAI back in 2015 and played a key role in recruiting Sutskever as chief scientist. However, he had a falling out and parted ways with the organization in 2018, leaving on uneasy terms. Ilya has been fired from the board, which means he may not have any control over the company's future decisions. OpenAI is planning to appoint new board members, including Sam and someone from Microsoft. They will have their own agenda, but it remains unclear whether it will be beneficial or detrimental. While some people share Ilya's concerns about the potential dangers of AI, it's important to keep in mind that funding for scientific research and supercomputers has to come from somewhere. The unfortunate reality is that whoever provides the funding ultimately has the final say. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, please show your support by hitting the like button and sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. Your support enables us to reach a wider audience with our content. Thank you for watching and don't forget to watch our other videos here.